In my Benjin video, I discussed how he joined the Night's Watch within months of Robert's rebellion ending and Ned returning to Winterfell. I also mentioned there was some speculation why, and this video I wanted to touch on some of the theories that try to explain Benjin's decision. There's a lot of speculation and ors and maybes in this video, so if that sort of stuff ticks you off, I would be aware of this video. So why did Benjin leave Winterfell to join the Night's Watch? We know at the tourney at Harrenhal in 281 AC, a brother of the Night's Watch spoke to the guests and Benjin took an interest in what the man had to say. This could have been the beginning of his desire to join the Night's Watch. When Ned came back from the war and already had an heir, Rob with Catelyn, a bastard John, and his best buddy on the throne, Benjin may have felt it was a good time to live out his ambitions and join the Watch. This wouldn't be out of ordinary with how respected the Night's Watch is in the North, and the Starks have a long history of serving. Benjen joining would have been seen as honorable. And if Benjen has the typical Northern honor, he could have felt it was his duty to join. This explanation does make me wonder if Benjen believed in the others before joining the Watch and thought it was his duty to protect the realm, or if he began believing in them and the changing winds after he joined. Joining due to his own desire is a very straightforward answer, but some feel it doesn't make sense given how much the Stark tree had been trimmed down at that point. In times of peace, yeah, being the third son, it might make sense to go to the Wall, and we have seen that even in modern Westeros time. This would especially make sense in the North, where taking the Black is seen as honorable and a good life. But the realm was just recovering from a huge power change with Robert's Rebellion, and the Starks had been reduced. Right then might not have been the best time to go and leave Winterfell. He did it simply because he felt called to the Night's Watch may have made more sense to some if he had waited for Ned to have a few more kids and not took off months after Ned got back. But Benjen may have thought Rob and Jon were enough to secure Winterfell and he followed his desire or sense of duty. This theory might be backed up by George. In a 2008 interview, when after he was asked why Benjen joined the Night's Watch, he replied, Good question. One day you will get an answer, but it will not be today. After this interview, an app, The World of Ice and Fire, came out and confirmed that Benjen took what the Black Brother who spoke at Harrenhal to heart in 281 AC. This could be George's answer. He was simply moved to serve by the visiting brother. Given the level of esteem the North holds for the Night's Watch and the close ties the Starks have to the Order, it isn't surprising that Benjen, with Ned as the Lord of Winterfell and already with one heir, decides to leave for the Wall. Benjen may have had the mindset of a third child as well, as we see with Loras Tyrell. House Tyrell continues through my brothers. It is not necessary for a third son to wed or breed. And later we hear that Loras joining the Kingsguard was actually a relief to his father. Loras may have been motivated by other reasons, but Benjen could have had this mindset and be determined to join the Night's Watch. Even with Brandon dead, when Ned came back, Benjen still decided to go through with it. From here, we only get more and more depressing with these speculations. Next, let's talk about guilt. Some suspect Benjen joined the Night's Watch out of immense guilt. Lyanna and Benjen were likely closer with each other than their other siblings, as Brandon and Ned were fostered elsewhere. Bran's vision of Benjen and Lyanna playing together could have been a way to solidify that. There are a few reasons why Benjen could feel guilt. If you believe Lyanna was the Knight of the Laughing Tree, Benjen was tasked with finding armor to get revenge on the Squires. He could have helped Lyanna find the armor to compete. When Rhaegar Targaryen found out who she was and expressed an interest in her because of it, Lyanna may have told all this to Benjen. Benjen then felt the guilt for helping Lyanna compete, which led to Rhaegar becoming interested in her and Robert's rebellion. Some even believe that Rhaegar didn't kidnap Lyanna, but that they were in love, and she shared this with Benjen. He would have been a likely candidate to share things with. Benjen observed his sister's first feelings towards Rhaegar, her crying at how beautiful his music was. And Benjen would be the least likely of her siblings to run to their father with the information, especially if they were so close and given other things, like dueling and Lyanna managing to keep Benjen quiet about it. Lyanna's two older brothers? Well, Brandon certainly wouldn't stand for a man stepping on his sister's honor. And Ned, I'm sorry to say this, kinda seems like that kid that would tattle on you if you did anything wrong. That was so mean. Some go as far to state Benjen helped her make plans to run away with Rhaegar, or that Benjen was receiving letters from Lyanna about her situation. 
Benjen kept her secrets, and in return, he watched a war swallow the kingdom, with the end result being the death of his father, brother, and sister. Knowing his role in Lyanna and Rhaegar running away, however deep that involvement went, guilt overtook Benjen, and on the return of his brother, he joined the Black Brothers to find purpose and maybe a bit of redemption for his part, a way to escape the painful reminder of everything he had lost. To forge a new family and never make the mistakes again he had made in his youth. A spin on this theory is that Benjen didn't willfully take the black, but Ned found out Benjen had helped Lyanna and lied to their family. Lyanna could have told Ned this while she was dying, or Benjen could have admitted his guilt. Ned, furious with Benjen and maybe holding him somewhat responsible for the death of his father, brother, and sister, forced his brother to take the black. Or so many ors this video, Ned forced Benjen to take the black because he feared what Robert Baratheon would do if he ever found out Benjen had helped Lyanna run away. Ned did much later invite Benjen to the welcoming feast for Robert at Winterfell, but maybe the years and him being a black brother made Ned less nervous and or more forgiving. Benjen could have also been aware of whose baby Jon was, whether he guessed or Ned told him. If he was the product of Rhaegar and Lyanna, Seeing that baby day after day might have been a reminder of the best friend he lost. He could have also been tempted to tell John of his parentage, and to avoid that, he left. Even though there's that pain, Benjen is still kind to John and worries about how he fits in at Winterfell. Perhaps because enough time is put between Lyanna's death and the present, and Benjen finds himself fond of her child. Fond enough to encourage the boy to join the Night's Watch. Though unfortunately John joins too soon for his taste. Another idea is that Benjen knew, either on his own or through Ned, the parentage of Jon and wanted to push for his right to the throne. I personally think that would be a horrible idea, but maybe Stark Honor got in there. Ned disagrees based on how he has decided to fulfill his promises to Lyanna. Then Ned and Benjen argue, have a falling out, and Ned goes, you want to know what? You're going to the wall. Now you can't participate in any wars. Benjen's response? More's the pity, after John saying he wasn't his father, might be a clue to this. Benjen may believe that if he had been in Ned's place, he would have made what he thought were better decisions for John's future. Evidence against this? That's a whole lot of speculation. But Ned and Benjen appear to be on pretty good terms in the first book. Of course, that could have been fixed after so many years. Also, if Benjen wanted to push John's right to the throne, he wouldn't suggest joining the Night's Watch. Unless he had given up on that hope. And there's yet another theory. Benjen theories could go on for days. Some think that Benjen believed Lyanna was taken against her will, and he resented Ned for bringing back Jon, a child of rape. Disagreeing with Ned's choice, he took to the wall to join a new family. Craziest theories I've read on this topic, Benjen was in love with Catelyn Tully and took the black so he could forget about her. And Benjen and Lyanna were Jon's parents and Ned forced him to the wall in shame. I'm sure there are so, so many other ideas about why Benjen joined, and some of them probably hinge on whether you believe Lyanna and Rhaegar ran away together in love, and or if Jon is actually their child. If you have one not listed here, please share. My personal favorite theory is that Benjen did have immense guilt and grief, and joining the Night's Watch helped him ease that pain, but that he also had a sense of duty. But what do you think? Why did Benjen join the Night's Watch? It was his passion? Because of his guilt? sadness? Or was he sent there for something he did? As always, thank you for watching and your support. This is a hobby and it is a lot of fun most of the time. If you like the video, hit the like button and we are so close to the next season of Game of Thrones. Have a fantastic week or weekend depending on when you watch this video.